how to slow cook in a Dutch oven cast iron over an open fire. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you in this video how to make any type of roast you want in a Dutch oven. I'm going to be using a pork shoulder Boston butt. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is get your fire going. You want a nice little bed of coals. While that's burning down, we'll add a couple tablespoons of oil to our cleaned Dutch oven. Spread that around nicely on the bottom and all the sides. Then once it's spread, we'll put it on our fire and let it burn for a couple minutes just until we see the oil starting to smoke. We'll set that aside, let it cool, and prepare our meat. Like I said, you can use any roast that you would like, a pork, beef roast, um, and just pay attention to the moisture content. But I'm going to use this Boston Butt Pork Shoulder Roast and cut it down to a size that fits nicely into our Dutch oven. Rinse it off, and then get it seasoned up. I chose this roast because this is one of the easiest ones to do, as there's a lot of fat in there, so the moisture content is very, very high. So when you cook, it is less likely to burn. If you're doing a beef roast, make sure you add a little bit more water than you would, and pay attention to the sound. If it's sizzling a lot, just make sure it's staying moist so we'll put this on our fire the first thing we want to do is sear it so we'll sear a couple minutes on either side and we don't want it to get too hot here we don't want to burn the oil and get that bitter flavor so pay close attention at this part of the method so after a couple minutes we'll pull it off to the side take a look at our sear and then we'll flip it over and do the same thing on all of the sides. Nice little sear and you can see it's starting to kind of burn a little bit so we have to really pay attention to that heat. So we'll go ahead and put it back on and do the same thing for the other sides. Once that's finished we'll pull it off and then we can prepare if we want to add any ingredients. In our case we are going to be adding some onion, some potatoes, celery, zucchini, carrots, and a little bit of bacon. Now you don't have to add any ingredients if you don't want, but they do help retain moisture and make it a complete meal. Bacon is optional, but I find it adds a little bit more fat, a little moisture content, and helps to keep that temperature regulated. So we'll fit our ingredients, just kind of shove them in the side, whatever you can fit in there, and add jalapeno if you would like a little bit of spice, plus I just think it kind of looks nice. Top with a little bit of pepper, and we're ready to slow cook. So we're gonna spread a little bit of coal off to the side and just set our Dutch oven right on top of it. Not too close to the burning fire, but we're gonna keep a log or two burning off to the side so we can keep creating more hot coal so we can move it around and maintain our temperature. Now this is something you'll kind of have to get a feel for, um, but you can see here, you don't need a lot of heat and that Dutch oven will heat up and retain its heat very nicely. So just listen for it. If it's sizzling a lot, you're probably too hot. Make sure you add a little bit of moisture if you um, are getting too hot, if it's starting to burn a little bit. Um, just add water, move it off to the side. And like I said, get a feel for it. It's very fun and you can get to the point where you don't even have to really pay attention to it. So depending on your temperature, this can take anywhere from four to 10 hours. Just pay attention and when the meat is fall apart tender, it's ready to go. It's good in time. The coals are still going. About to take this inside and see what our roast looks like. Kept it nice and low all day. Made sure we could hear it sizzle just a little bit. Kept turning it probably 15 times. Move the coals around, make sure it's not burning. Go. All right. Now let's see, this is about six and a half hours, seven hours. Oh, look at that, tender. Tender enough to cut with a spoon. Oh, can we get that out of 
over there though. Let's see if we can scoop. There we go. Look at those carrots, just beautiful. Alright, now watch. Oh yeah. That's done. Perfect.